This is the clothespin relay, and it's called the clothespin relay because on the sleeve of the student here are five clothespins. Third, fourth, and fifth grade will use five clothespins. First and second grade will use uh, three clothespins. Now, the object is for each student to run from their starting line or cone down around that cone 30 feet away and back and make the transfer to the next student's sleeves. The clothespins must be on the sleeves of the shirt in order for this to, uh, to, to be the, done the right way. If they happen to drop a clothespin along the way, they must pick it up and put it back on. If the team finishes the, the, the relay with less than the amount of clothespins they're supposed to have, they are penalized 10 seconds for each clothespin they do not have. Olivia, are you ready? Go! You'll start the clock on the go signal. She'll run down around and back and she will make the transfer over to Shane's sleeve. They can be on one sleeve or they can do on two sleeves. It does not matter but they do need to be on the sleeves. They're making the transfer right now. Shane's got three or four. How many does he have? He's got one more. And Shane's going to take off. In the meantime, Olivia is going to sit down behind her cone. Shane comes back. Reed's helping him out there. They're going to both put them on. Now the people in the back cannot help. It's only the two making the transfer that can help. Reed's taking off down around and back. And he's going to make the final transfer. And the people behind him should be seated. And they are at this point. Amir is making the final run down around the back. Now there's no transfer on this. Amir is simply going to come to the end of the line and sit down and the clock would stop right then. And that is the clothespin relay.